Okay, so in this video right now, let's talk about salt water soaks, um, sea salt soaks. So basically, proper body piercing aftercare. Um, now, every body piercer is going to have like a different time frame as far as how far it's going to heal. Um, your piercer should let you know a uh, general time frame on that. But basically, first off, there's a couple things you want to know. Um, with most piercings, it's really, really important not to spin or rotate the jewelry. Um, spin and rotating the jewelry, it's like picking out a scab and you're just going to be getting a lot more scar tissue. You're also going to be introducing bacteria from the outside of the jewelry into the piercing. Um, so obviously you want to avoid that. Um, it's not like when you get your ear pierced in the mall and you know, they tell you to spin and rotate the jewelry. Exact opposite, okay? So really important, leave it alone, hands off. Um, another important thing is, for the most part, never put hydrogen peroxide, alcohol, neosporin, um, bactine, and even for the most part, antibacterial soap you really want to avoid on a piercing. Um, it's just too harsh for it and it does a lot more damage than good. Um, doesn't really discriminate against good or bad, it kind of goes in and kills everything and you definitely got a lot more good stuff usually going on in that piercing than you do bad stuff. Um, so what do you want to clean your piercing with? Salt water. Um, sea salt soaks are hands down the best way um, and it's really easy to do. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to the grocery store and you want to get a gallon of distilled water. All right, now distilled water is like a dollar. Um, it's in the drinking water section. Pretty much any grocery store is going to have that. Really easy to find. All right, so once you have that, you're going to shoot over to the salt section and then you're going to get some non iodized sea salt. Okay, don't substitute with anything else. Stick with non iodized. That part's really important. Okay, awesome. So you go home, you got your sea salts, your non iodized sea salts, you have your one gallon of distilled water, and you're going to take four teaspoons of that sea salt and you're going to mix it into that one gallon of water. Okay. Shake it up, that's going to give you like a big jug to kind of keep around the house, right? Um, store that at room temperature, you don't have to refrigerate it, nothing, just kind of set it in a corner somewhere and uh, just let it chill, all right? So once you have that jug, once, maybe twice a day, you're going to do a salt water soak, okay? So the way to do that is you take a coffee cup, um, kind of like this guy right here, coffee cup, shot glass, um, always use glass, never plastic, glass or porcelain. Um, plastic cups tend to leach into your solution. You're actually contaminating them when you go to heat them up here in a second. Okay, so um, porcelain or shot glass, you know, glass, always the best things. So you got your cup. You're gonna take your gallon of salt water, or yeah, your gallon of salt water solution, and you're gonna pour it into the coffee cup in this case. All right. Once you have it filled up, you're gonna throw it in the microwave for about a few seconds. All right. Now everybody's microwave is different. You want to make sure that your salt water solution is barely body temperature, all right? So you're not trying to burn the piercing, um, but you do definitely want it warm, all right? Um, once you have your, your solution heated up, now let's say we got our nose pierced, then you're just going to take it, you're going to lean forward, and you're going to just kind of dunk your nose in there, let it soak for a few minutes, okay? Usually when a few minutes, I, I'm talking 7 to 15 minutes is the recommended time frame, okay? Um, let's say you got your navel pierced, same thing, main board, push against your stomach, push really hard, you get like a suction going or a seal, it'll seal itself off, and just stand up and hang out. And once again, let that soak for 7 to 15 minutes. And likewise, your ear, same concept, dunk it in there, let it soak 7 to 15 minutes, and so forth, depending on what piercing you get. Alright guys, so um, pretty much so, that's your basic way to do like a salt water or a sea salt soak on your piercings and that's going to be the best way. So um, throw everything else out the window and just do salt water soaks and yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple.